friends! In our last section, we learn what are fluids, characteristics of fluids, particle theory of matter, and also the types of flow, laminar and turbulent. Today, we will learn more about fluids, so let's start. Here, we have two liquids, honey and milk. Now, let's study how they flow. You can easily see that the honey flows at a much slower speed than milk. Now here we have two more liquids, paint and oil. Now again, compare how they flow when we pour them. Again, paint is flowing much slower than oil. So we can say that milk and oil have a higher flow rate than that of honey and paint. Now here comes the term flow rate. So what is it? Flow rate measures the volume of liquid, which passes per unit of time, and it is represented by the symbol Q or V. The SI unit of flow rate is cubic meters per second. Let's say water can be different in different conditions. For example, water from one tap may fill the bucket in five minutes, and water from another tap may fill the same bucket in only ten minutes. Flow rate of liquid depends on how much force is pushing into the liquid. Stronger force will produce stronger flow rate. Now, let's study the factors that determine the flow rate. The force pushing the liquid. The greater the height from which the fluid is flowing, the greater force the liquid will experience, and thus, the greater the flow rate will be. So, greater force can be applied to a fluid for achieving a higher flow rate. The second factor can be the size of the opening through which the fluid is flowing. The larger the opening of the pipe or the tap or the container through which the fluid is flowing, the higher the flow rate. Flow rate of the water coming through a tap depends on how much we open the tap. If we open the tap halfway, flow rate is slower. If you open the tap completely, the flow rate will be larger. Another factor that determines the flow rate is the type of surface on which the fluid is flowing. Take two or three types of surfaces, smooth to rough, and check the flow of the same liquid on all three types of surfaces. The fluid will flow fastest on the most smooth surface, so the type of surface also determines the flow rate. The next characteristics of a fluid is viscosity, or the type of fluid. This means how thick or thin the fluid is. Thicker fluids like honey and paint will have a slower flow rate, whereas thin fluids like water, juice, and milk will have a higher flow rate. This is called viscosity. But what exactly is viscosity? As we learned, it is one of the factors which determines the flow rate. It is the thickness of a fluid or the resistance of the fluid to flow. For example, honey has a high viscosity or high resistance to flow and water has a low viscosity or low resistance to flow. So viscosity is directly related to the thickness of the fluid. Now let's learn about some liquids in the order of increasing viscosity. Water has the least viscosity, then blood, olive oil, glycerin, honey, ketchup, toothpaste. Toothpaste has the highest viscosity amongst these liquids. So now you know what viscosity is. It is related to the thickness of the fluid. Remember, the higher the thickness, the higher the viscosity. Now, let's learn the two factors that affect the viscosity of a liquid. Cohesion and adhesion. Cohesion is the force of attraction between the molecules of a substance. Thicker or more viscous fluids have more attraction between their molecules, or they have a greater cohesion. For example, molecules of water are attracted towards each other via hydrogen bonding, and it is due to this cohesion between the molecules of water that water has a continuous flow. So, unlike gases, Water flows in a continuous motion and does not spread out in all directions. This is because of these hydrogen bonds that hold water together. Water droplets are also the result of cohesion between the molecules of water. 
So, cohesion holds the molecules of water together, which is not present in the case of gases, which is why gases spread away. Pour a little amount of honey and water on paper and examine. You will see that the honey spreads less than the water and the water spreads more easily on the paper because there is less cohesion in the molecules of water, whereas there is more between the molecules and honey, so it is more viscous. Therefore, thicker liquids like honey, paint, sauces have high viscosity and higher cohesion, and thinner liquids like water, juice, milk have low viscosity and low cohesion. Now let's learn what surface tension is. It is the cohesion between the molecules on the surface of liquids that creates a layer of liquid like a skin on which microorganisms and small insects can walk and move, like we walk on hard surfaces. Have you ever seen small insects walking on the water like we walk on hard surfaces? How does it happen? Cohesion between the molecules of the water on the surface or the surface tension is higher than the attraction of gravity on these insects, which is why they are able to walk on the surface of water due to the layer of water molecules strongly attracted to each other that forms a layer of water, which is strong enough to carry the weight of these small insects. Have you ever seen small insects walking on the water like we walk on hard surfaces? How does it happen? Cohesion between the molecules of water on the surface or the surface tension is higher than the attraction of gravity on these insects, which is why they are able to walk on the surface of water due to the layer of water molecules strongly attracted to each other that forms a layer of water which is strong enough to carry the weight of these small insects. Here is another example of surface tension. If you place a drop of water on a piece of cloth, the surface tension will try to keep it in its shape, as in to retain the shape of the drop and molecules of the surface of cloth will attract it towards itself. When the force of attraction of the molecules of cloth exceeds the force of surface tension in the droplet of the water, the water will then go ahead and wet the cloth. So, cohesion between the molecules of water prevents the water from spreading easily, and only when the attraction due to molecules on the surface of the cloth exceeds the internal attraction between the molecules of water will the water go ahead and wet the clot. Now, what do we need to reduce the surface tension of the water? When we use water to extinguish fire, now when do we need to reduce the surface tension of water? When we use water to extinguish fire, we need to reduce the surface tension of water so that the water spreads more easily and can cover a larger area to extinguish the fire faster. We add a wetting agent to the water that reduces cohesion in the water so the water spreads more easily and covers a large area, which is required to extinguish the fire. So now, let's learn about adhesion. Adhesion is another factor that affects flow rate. It is the attraction between the molecules of water and another substance, like for example, water and a leaf. It is the adhesion that keeps the drop of water stuck to a leaf. Due to cohesion, the water forms a droplet, and due to adhesion between the water molecules and the leaf molecules, the water sticks to the leaf. Drops of water stick to the leaf because of adhesion between the molecules of water and that of the molecules of leaf. These drops fall to the surface of the earth when the attraction from the earth or the gravity is more than the force of adhesion. Let's have another example. Take two glasses, add orange juice, and then add milk to the other. Now empty both glasses. In both cases, you will see there will be some juice or milk sticking to the inner surface of the glass. Why? 
the juice and the milk sticks to the surface of the glass due to the adhesion between the molecules of the juice and milk with the molecules of the glass. Adhesion between the particles of liquid and particles of the container is responsible for the formation of a curved surface on the top of the container, and this curved surface is called a meniscus. Do you know why the flow of a river or stream is more in the center than at the banks? It is because the cohesion between the water molecules and the surface on which it flows is more at the edges than at the middle. This is why the flow of water is more at the middle of the stream or river than at the bank. And the same is true in the case of pipes and tubes. Flow of water is always more in the middle or center of the tube or pipe because on the edges it experiences adhesion. So friends, today we have learned a lot about fluids, cohesion, adhesion, and surface tension.